Welcome to Dr. SNS Rajarishnu College of Arts and Science. Warm greetings from SNS family. This is Dr. J. Vijay Lakshmi, Department of Commerce and Computer Communications. In this video, I am going to discuss about a case study related to partnership. So, uh, in partnership with general in previous uh, videos, we came to understand what is partnership, how the partner is getting admitted and what are the treatment of goodwill and how the goodwill is calculated, what are the different methods. In this video, we are going to see about uh, a partnership case. Let us see an example. X and Y are the partner in a partnership firm. X introduced A, a manager, as his partner to Z. A rem uh, remained a silent. X uh, then uh, A, a trader, believes A as a partner supplied 100 TV set to a firm on a credit basis. After expiry of the credit period, Z did not got amount of TV set sold by the partner firm, that is X. X filled as a should against the X, uh, Z filled a uh, should against the X and A for the recovery of price. Right? So, uh, uh, Z advised whether he can recover the amount from X and A under the Indian Partnership Act 1932. Now, we will see the situations. In the given case, along with X, the manager A is also liable for the price because he becomes a partner by holding out. Under Section 28 of Indian Partnership Act 1932, the partner by holding, partner by holding out uh, is also known as a partnership by S2. Well, so, where a man holds himself out as a partner or allows others to do it, he is then uh, stopped from denying the character he has assumed and upon the faith of which the creditor may be presumed to have acted. So, in this case, uh, we can conclude that it is not only the person whom the uh, representation has been made and who has acted, uh, therefore, uh, that has right to enforce liabilities arising out of the holding out. So, once again, I will tell. So, it is not only the person whom the representation has been made and who has acted themselves as a right and force liability for raising out the holding. <coughs> so, you must also note that for purpose of fixing liability on a person who has and by representation and another to act. It is not necessary to show that he acts actually by the fraudulent intention. So, this rule, the rule given in the section 28. So, it is also applicable for a former partner who has uh, retained from the firm without giving proper public notice for his uh, information. In such cases, the person who even subsequent to the his management, so given credit to the firm on the belief that he has a partner and is entitled and holding a is liable. So, here the case says that even the person is a liable for payment of the, the TV set, whatever they were delivered on the time after the expiry of the date. So, according to section 
28 the past the by x total so by this we can understand the case of the partnership thank you